Welcome back everyone, Tony is here. Today we're flying from Panama City, Florida to Tallahassee, Florida. I'm flying a Beechcraft 350i King Air. I've applied a red livery to it. The local time is 2.30 p.m. approximately. Let's go inside and go ahead and get started. Trying to get better at keeping the plane going straight and forward during takeoffs. So I'm working on that. Alright, get a little, little bit more thrust. Flaps up. I think I just saw a lightning flash, I'm not sure. Getting some gusty winds. KH373, continue for east departure. I will contact you next when you leave my airspace. Panama City Tower, KH373, continue for east departure. Okay, so we are now pretty much on course. I'm going to go ahead and engage autopilot. I've got Navigation turned on already, I believe. Yes. Alright. And then I'm also going to engage flight level control because we want to go to 2200. Alright, so let the autopilot settle in. Seems like it's a little bumpy, I think that's just the weather. Looks like we're heading into a gray zone here. Alright, so we're already in altitude hold mode. I'm going to drop throttle to midpoint. Panama City Tower, KH373 frequency change. And approach KH373 is type maybe throw it up a little bit later if we're going too slow, but we'll see, how, see where this Request gets us. KH373, Tindall approach. Yeah, we're definitely getting Tindall some kind of a wind from the right side, I believe. That's why we're angled a bit to try to stay on course. Let's go take a look outside. Let me grab the Xbox. Yeah, sort of a partial gray zone. Blue sky looks nice. Although we're about to dis—it's about to disappear, I suppose. All right, I'm going to reset this view. Use some of the canned views. Well, the plane is really getting jostled around. I guess that's really to be expected. I think our speed's probably okay at the moment. Alright, that's the overhead view. Here's the looking back view. Sun's kind of a glow up in the sky. Let's see if I can get some sort of a nice silhouette going. That's kind of nice. I 
for a moment I thought I saw lightning. I think it's, there's this thing that happens sometimes with the sun and the clouds where the sun pokes through. Uh, like at the edges, it's probably a ray tracing round off error. flying into a big ball of cotton. Alright, well it might be fun to play with the drone a little bit. Let's uh, speed it up. We'll leave it connected to the plane. Alright, so where are we going to be able to see anything? I guess if I, if I drop down here... Sounds very stormy. I don't know if there's really much to see here. It looks very agricultural. Well, maybe not agricultural, more like forest or something. And it's getting very foggy here. Wow, listen to that wind. Trying to stay in the visible area of where the fog is. Yeah, not too much to see here. I'll go ahead and reset back to the plane. Puffy clouds are kind of nice. Um, I don't have cloud set or ultra. I think they might look a little better if I scaled those up. I feel like my graphic settings got reset because the anti-aliasing looks a little off as well. I need to go check those. It seems like sometimes when drivers are updated or the game is updated, the settings get changed. Uh, let's see, back to external view. Reset it. Oh, well. Reset it. Then go inside, I guess. It's, uh, around from here. There's not much to see. Grab the controller again. 62 outside, so it's kind of warmish, I guess, for this time of year. Probably not warmish for this uh, longitude, though. Again, just nothing to see. We could play with the airplane. How much time do we have? Let's see. It is 46 miles. Okay. There's not really much to do here except look at, you know, pre programmed battery temperatures, I guess. Ah, not temperatures, ah, voltage. Oh, there we go. Okay, I have to go up on the thing. That's where all the lights are set. There's some things here I don't really know how to use. I don't know what this is. I guess that used to be an optional no smoking sign, maybe. And this, whatever this is, it actually works. I don't know what this is. Cabin pressure, maybe? <laughs> Either inoperative. CH373, contact Jacksonville Center on 119 or decimal 1. One one nine or decimal one for KH three seven three. And it's a little too Jackson bad some of these Center, things don't KH3 work because I feel like it would be fun to be able to enter a flight plan from in here. They'll probably power these up at some point. KH three seven three contact Jacksonville Center on one three five decimal. I don't know what all this about oxygen is, and then this must just be a safety bar. Going to one three five decimal three two five KH three seven three. 
Jacksonville Center KH 373 autopilot working crazily to keep the plane nice and stable in this weather. Okay, so at one point I was told I needed to turn on pilot heat, and I thought I did. I didn't do it right, I guess. I'll have to, uh, next time that comes out, I'll have to try that again. Some of these things, I don't know what they are. It'd be interesting to try to find out, uh, play with them, see what happens. Maybe not while I'm flying. Thirty-four miles to go. We're in solid gray at this point. Sorry to my non-existent passengers. Be nice if you could get some kind of passengers. Might make it a little bit more realistic. I'm going to go back outside. Well, let's reset the view first, and then back outside. So not much to see. A little bit of blue. Tiny little sliver of blue over here. Going to one tree tree decimal eight five KH three seven three going away. Approach KH three seven three two thousand two hundred feet. KH Can't really see the landscape, so I'm trying to play with the clouds in the airplane. solid gray in here. Thought we might be able to see something on this side. A little bit of blue. Alright, well we're close enough now that I'm going to take over from autopilot and start slowing the plane down. Let me plug in the 360 controller as a precaution in case it wants to shut off and cause the game to freeze. Alright, 
So let's turn it off autopilot. Alright, now I've got to take over. Approach KH373, 2100 feet. I'm gonna start uh, dropping, alt uh, dropping throttle. I don't want to drop altitude, but I do want to drop throttle. And let's get us back on course here. Bit of a bumpy ride, that's okay. Right, I'm going to drop throttle a little bit more, try to get this speed down. Pilot will contact the tower shortly. Okay, we're still not dropping speed fast enough, so we can go here. almost all the way down to landing gear that'll help slow us down. Left down part of the way. Have to push forward on the stick to keep from nosing up too much. Alright, this is a good speed for getting into the landing pattern, which we'll know about in a moment. Tower KH373 is 1 1 miles west with India to land. KH373 Tower. Make straight and runway neither. Altimeter tree, zero decimal, zero six, wind two, zero four, one two. Make straight in runway nine or KH373. Tree. Give it a little bit more gas. Okay, right into the landing pattern. We do have to get some altitude though. I had dropped from my original 2200. Well, the flaps are really trying to lift that nose up. Okay, there's the pattern right there, so we're in good shape. Okay, I need to slow down a little bit here. It's too fast for the flaps. Okay, we can put the flaps down all the way now. Push forward on the stick to keep from nosing up too much. And then I'm going to have to give it some gas because those flaps are going to eat up a lot of that thrust. Yeah, we're definitely going too fast, so I can afford to actually drop the throttle and slow down a bit. Nice that it's a straight in landing. Yeah, we're still going way too fast. So let me go. Way down on the throttle. Land, runway Niner, KH373. We have time to slow down. All right, we're almost down to speed. There we go. Alright, now I don't want to drop much more than that. And I'll start lifting up on the throttle a little bit here.
I have a tendency to be a little too far to the left in that landing pattern, so let me see if I can correct for that a little bit here. Okay, our speed is good. I could afford to go a little bit slower. Let's drop the throttle a bit. Alright, so I'm keeping an eye on the throttle. We're starting to go a little on the slow side. We want to be going slow to land, but we don't want to land prematurely. So, just as a precaution, just give it a little bit more thrust. Okay, that might be enough. I'll give it some more if needed. I think it needs a little bit more. I do not want to land prematurely. Alright, here we go, we're getting there. Okay, I'm going to drop throttle all the way and just try to float on in to keep the plane level. Alright, so here we come. At a good speed, we're floating, we're floating, we're going to level off a little bit, we're going to nose down a bit, get those rear wheels to hit. Alright, and get the front wheel down, oh, rudder, rudder, rudder. Okay, front wheel down, brakes. Okay, so the landing itself was good, I still have a little Going bit of trouble. With all the multitasking and so dealing with everything and going straight at the same time is a little tough. Slam on the brakes here. Sorry, passengers. Okay. We want taxi to parking. Ground KH373 request taxi to parking. Get a little bit more perspective here. That'll help. Alright, let's go. Taxiing to general aviation parking using taxiway alpha KH373. Have it skewed. Okay, there we go. So welcome to Tallahassee, Florida. I've never been here before. I used to chat with somebody on AOL from Tass Tallahassee years and years ago. Got to put the flaps up. That's always important. You don't want a gust of wind to suddenly flip the plane over. Alright, well this is a nice taxi speed. Usually the plane wants to go a little bit too fast. They're probably soon going to admonish me about getting off the runway, but I'm trying not to exceed the 20 knots. I yeah, definitely need to check the graphics. I'm not used to the anti-aliasing being visible. Usually, usually you can't see it. So I need to check on that. This part of the flight is nice because you can actually k take your hands off the stick and just let your feet do everything from here. It helps relax the arms a little bit. 
Of course, on a real flight, you probably wouldn't take your hand off the stick, and you probably have one hand on a microphone control or something. It's really easy to make this a jostling experience, and I'm sure it must take years of experience so that all these moves are smooth for your passengers. I think uh, I would get low marks if I was actually carrying passengers. Especially, you know, hard-breaking, things like that. Well, this is a nice entrance into the parking spot. Probably the nicest I've had, actually. A little more that way, okay. And keep going, keep going, stop. Perfect. Parking brake. We can cut that warning. Oral warning, okay. Yes, it is okay. All right, let's shut the engines off. Takes them a little bit to cool down. Welcome to Tallahassee, Florida. Don't know a whole lot about it. The weather looks really interesting. Looks like lightning could occur anytime in certain places. Turn off the plane. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.